Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so every year uh, about this time, I notice that there are a lot of new guys considering starting a lawn care business. Uh, maybe you're thinking ahead and getting ready for spring of 2020. And that's a good thing. And uh, there's a lot of videos floating around about how to, you know, starting a lawn care business and, and the things that you should be doing. And I have, I have those type of videos and they, they're very, very helpful. But something that you should put equal weight into is, is the mistakes, the things that, that, that can absolutely trip you up whenever you are starting your business and they're easy, easy traps to fall into. So in this video, what we're going to talk about is uh, three mistakes to avoid whenever you are starting your lawn care business. Avoid these at all costs and you really will have a, a high chance of success in your first year in your business. Let's go ahead and jump into it, okay? So the first mistake that most people make whenever they are starting a lawn care business is either buying too much equipment, you know, using too much debt, or not buying enough equipment and, and making the job difficult on their self, okay? So look, I know this is kind of a, a two-edged sword, but I see so many guys that ride around with, I mean, just just these massive rigs whenever they're starting out and they've already financed 60, 70, $80,000 in debt and they have no business or just a small little uh, contract to get going, you know? That money would be so much better spent on marketing. Um, but the flip side of that is if you try and go and just hamstring it, you know, just by just, I'm just, I'm just gonna shoelace this thing, you know, and I am going to use the bare minimum, a push mower, an old curved shaft weed eater, and an electric blower or something. Now, if that's all you got, that if that is truly all you got, you know, if you're like a kid or something, uh, you know, by all means. But I'm telling you, man, as quickly as you can get into some good equipment that is comfortable, you that that is the sweet spot in this. You know, whenever I first started, um, I started with a residential grade um, zero turn mower, and it served us perfectly. But if I had it to do over again, I would I would be somewhere in the middle. I would get a good commercial grade lawn mower. I would go ahead and spike the bullet, spend the money on it, because the name of the game in our industry is number one comfort and number two productivity. If you're not comfortable, you're not gonna be productive. And if you don't have a good productive mower, you're not gonna be making any money anyways. And the job is gonna be so difficult that you're going to throw in the towel, man, come July and August. So again, find that sweet spot whenever you're looking at buying equipment. Don't buy too little. Don't get don't get bad equipment and, and equipment that's constantly breaking down. But but you don't have to go out and finance a, a new truck and, and a and a big, big trailer that's enclosed and everything. You don't have to do that. Um, you can get on the roll road and get rolling for ten thousand dollars, man. And, and I, I promise, I mean, my business is proof that you a hundred percent can come out of the gate and make a killing your first year in business. Number one mistake is using too much debt, you know, over buying on equipment or not buying enough. Find the middle ground there. The second biggest mistake that um, overzealous new business owners tend to make is is offering too many services and doing too much. Whenever I first started my business, I could go back and, and look at my, my business plan, which you don't need a business plan whenever you start. But I just, I wrote some things down, some services that I wanted to offer to my client. And, and, I, and I actually, I saw that business plan the other day and it's completely and utterly useless. Because whenever you start your business and you are the person out there doing the work, I, I'm telling you from experience that the number one way to burn yourself out and create chaos and low profit margins in your business is to offer too many services and try to do too many things for your clients. Hands down, I, I promise you will, be, you will be more profitable and you will, you will have less stress if you just focus on one or two services, okay? Mowing and then offer head trimming. Mowing and mulch installation. Uh, fertilization, weed control, and sprinkler prepare. But but don't try to do it all out of the gate, man. There's there's just too many things that you're going to have to figure out if you have not already done if you have not already been in this industry. There's 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 a learning curve that happens over the first two or three years where you start seeing what your most profitable services are. But if you in there and just, just jump in feet first and just start saying yes to everything, you're going to be run ragged. You're going to be stressed to the max. It's going to be chaos. 
and you, you are not going to know how to price every one of those jobs and the work, and you're going to end up losing money, and or, or at worst yet, you, know, you get out there and, and just bust your butt all day long and lose money on a job. And ask me how I know that. I've been there, man. I have been in your shoes, and I, I'm telling you from experience, the, the thing that I figured out very quickly, and, and a key for our success here in my business, has been focusing, being laser focused on one or two services, learning how to price those services, learning how to market those services, and knocking them out of the park, then doubling down and just keep on doing those services until you saturate your market, okay? So number two uh, mistake to avoid is doing too much and offering too many services uh, in the beginning. Okay, and the third mistake that um, people make whenever they start their, their lawn business is they rely too heavily on, on Facebook or, or word of mouth uh, for, the, for their marketing. You know, you've invested this money in some equipment, you know, you, you feel like you got a good head on your shoulders, you got a pretty good uh, plan for your business, but spring rolls around and you, you put up a couple ads on Facebook and tell your friends and family about it, and then crickets. And man, let me tell you, that is a scary spot to be in uh, whenever you are starting your business and, and you have jumped in feet first. Um, I'm telling you that if you if you rely just on word of mouth and, and some Facebook stuff and some such, you're going to grow at a snail's pace, okay? And unless you have a cash reserve, you know, emergency fund set up that where you are planning to to use that emergency fund to get you by until you can build your business up, it, you are going to be stressed out, and it is going to be it's going to be an awful feeling, okay? There's the worst feeling in the world when you got all this equipment and and you, you're putting ads on on Facebook and just the business is not coming in the way that you thought that it was going to. I'm, you cannot rely on word of mouth in today's day and age, okay? Yes, that's a good thing once your business is established, uh, working off referrals. Um, the guys who have been around for a really, really long time, I know some businesses that they only do word of mouth, um, and that works for them. But they have, they have a, a stranglehold on their market. You know, they, they've been around for, forever, and maybe they don't want to grow super fast. But, you know, if you're starting a business uh, and, and you have that entrepreneur spirit in you, uh, I would say, man, why not go ahead and, and accelerate your business growth? We're not talking about growing so fast that you can't keep up. We're just talking about having a good marketing plan, okay? Uh, and we can get into all in a whole nother video series, you know, on what a good marketing plan is. But you need to have a better strategy for gaining clients than just relying on word of mouth and then putting out, you know, some some stuff out on Facebook or Instagram to your friends and family or whatever. Because I'm telling you, you're you're just going to have a few clients, and it's just it's. It's not going to pay the bills whenever you get going. So again, put a lot of effort into a marketing strategy, whether it's your, your website, um, your Google business listing, um, putting ads out on different platforms. Um, networking um, with other businesses in the area has been huge for us. I received a lot of business in the beginning from my client or from another uh, company who does not do mowing. They only do fertilization uh, and weed control. Hold on. Sorry, the lighting was getting messed up there, but I received a lot of business in the beginning from networking with another company in our area uh, who does not do mowing. Um, they only do fertilization weed control. And they were a big player, man. Um, and, and I was able to send them just as much work as they were able to send me. They, they did a lot of marketing on, on TV and stuff. I'm not talking about like True Green, it was somebody else. But they were a major player in our area, you know, and I, I developed a relationship with a couple of their sales representatives. And every client, you know, that they had a contact with, um, they we, they were exchanging, giving out my business card, and it really, like, it, that really helped accelerate our growth, okay? So I'm not going to get down a rabbit hole on marketing and gaining clients in this video, but I just did want to stress that, you know, those are the mistakes that I see most often um, with new lawn care business owners. And it's very easy to get into. You get excited. You want to buy equipment. You know, you want to offer a lot of services and do well for your clients, you know. Um, but but you, have to, you have to go into this with a good plan. You have to be reasonable with the amount of debt that you're going to take on. You have to have a good plan for marketing. Uh, and, and once those pieces come together, man, um, you'll see that this industry, it really has a lot to offer. 
uh, you know, my, my lawn business has changed my life. Um, this We've had a lawn business now for four years, uh, and it's surpassed all, all expectations. You know, everything's not, you know, peaches and roses, and, and, it, and it's hard sometimes. But I just want to give you encouragement if you're looking at starting a lawn care business in 2020 uh, and, and tell you that it's a great industry to be in. Uh, and I'm excited for you because I was there and uh, the point in this video is just maybe maybe to help somebody out uh, and avoid a, a couple traps um, that I see a lot of guys get into. Guys, y'all have a, a wonderful holiday season. Uh, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. I'm going to be eating turkey with my family. Um, I harvested a deer last week, so we're going to be putting some back straps on the grill and I'm excited about that. But I, I hope you and your family, you know, have a, have a wonderful holiday season and uh, I'll be in touch, okay? God bless.